How's it going guys, Zab here, and today I'm going to show you guys an XP farm here in Peru. Now this lake just came out today, it's very, very good. Uh, there's multiple places to fish. I just want to show you guys what I've done so far, what I've found so far just from fishing today. Um, so if you want to go into your inventory, this is my setup right here, the Phoenix 350, the Fat Boy Spin 5000. We got an 8.5 kilogram titanium liter because they everything here basically has teeth, so you're going to need that. And we're using 8.65 kilogram braid. Um, we're using 135 centimeter liter. Now I will put the conversion up for you guys there. But that's basically what I've been rolling with here. And now the fish I've been targeting mostly is this Payara here, the unique Payara. It gets up to about 12 kilograms. That's the highest one I've seen caught so far. Uh, there's the preferred baits and the preferred lures, but you get lots of XP for this fish, guys. You get something like 4K XP with the barbless hooks. I'm using uh, 5.0. You can use 4.0, but I just prefer 5.0. Anything bigger, you still end up getting piranhas and stuff like that. So it's not the most efficient farm, but I wanted to give you guys a good way to catch some uniques here and earn some money if, uh, say, you only have the pond pass for a few days or whatever like that. Uh, my other setup that I'm using is the Loki 200 and the Aspire Double Punch 4500. This is the same setup from the bass video we did in Blue Crab. I'm using an X-Series Walker here. If you guys did get the DLC and you're here... Uh, there's swim baits and all that you can use. I used all those. They're, they're solid too, but I've just mostly been using the walker. Uh, but they work out pretty well. So what you got to do, guys, you will need a boat for this. We're just going to go into a private room here. You're going to spawn in at the boat one here, the tourist landing pier. We're just going to run down to the boat quick and make our way over to this little island. Now you can go ashore here. So this is what we're going to be doing. Now let me just start up the boat and we'll head on over there. Right, so once you got your boat over here just go ashore i will let you and this is where i've been fishing is this area right over here now that's the unique marker there i will show you guys a unique marker i've had good luck basically anywhere from like here all the way to like here i've had really good luck with the uh with like any setup here basically um, so let's just double check our leader lengths here. Make sure they're all set to 135. Some of them are 160. Uh, I haven't messed around too much with leader lengths. If you guys find um, a specific leader length that works really well for you, make sure to comment down below and let everyone know. Or if there's a specific pocket you really, really like, make sure to let everyone know so we can uh, help each other make a little bit more money and XP here. But yeah, basically all I've been doing is casting out. You can go into here. That hole's been pretty good for me. I will show you the unique marker quick, but I'll just show you guys kind of what I've been doing over here. You can see here, oops. See here, 13.79 kilogram uh, Payara. So that's like a huge one, man. That's an absolutely huge one. Uh, just massive. Uh, that gave me like almost 5K XP, which is almost as much as like a Tarpon's gonna give you in Blue Crab. So you can really, really, really get good XP here. Now you will get some smaller fish, but that's to be expected. As long as it's not, um, like they take two seconds to reel in. So just make sure you focus on the big fish, not the, uh, the small ones. We're just going to throw all these lines in the water here. And then I'm going to show you guys that I also do the casting while I'm waiting here. You want to maximize your fish, uh, your fish catching here. And you want to try and get as many uniques as possible. And this is really good for getting lots and lots of money and getting, or sorry, for getting lots of XP. And I just kind of cast out wherever. It's sometimes there, sometimes there. You can go in here, even in there. Anywhere over here works well too. Just whatever you guys want to do. Uh, we're about to get a fish on. There you go. Let me throw that in the uh, water and then we'll pull this one up. We got some fish on here. You can see it's actually decent um, give right now. So this is probably a Payara. It's not going to be a Piranha. Piranhas and stuff are super easy to pull in. It might not be a unique, but just since it's such a decent fight so far on this setup, I'm not even going to go ahead and bother with that other rod that's going off here. We're just going to go ahead 
Try and bring this bad boy in. Hopefully it's a unique. If it's not, maybe even a trophy. You get good XP on trophies too. But this is just one of the spots I found right away. And I've been fishing ever since I unlocked the uh, the map today. Oh, but yeah, you can tell this is a very good fish. Hopefully we get a unique right out of the gate. That'd be awesome. That'd be absolutely awesome. We got another rod going off here. And as you can see, guys, the reason why I'm using this setup is just to maximize XP. I want to level up very, very quickly. Get to 58 before my uh, my pass expires. And if that's what your goal is, is to level up quickly, this is probably the best way to do it. Uh, there are those uh, big fish, the new biggest fish in the game. But there you go. That's actually just a regular pay R, 504 XP and lots and lots of money. Let's go ahead and try and catch this one. Even get a unique on for you guys, but from the marker, you guys can see that uniques are definitely catchable here. Uh, just take some time. It's like anything. It's going to take some time. When the fishing dies off, just skip ahead like every other lake, guys. That's all you got to do. But with these setups, you're going to be get you're going to be getting good XP off these fish. Even if they aren't unique or trophies, you're still going to be getting good XP. So there you go. 414 XP, 1700 bucks. Pretty solid money. And let's just see if we can get one on the uh, the casting setup here. Just to show you guys that um, I'm using the X-Series Walker. Uh, but if you guys have the walkers that came with the DLC to get here, those work perfectly fine too. I did catch one uh, more down the river. I caught a unique one. Uh, with the, the regular 4 walker. I'm just using this one just because I happen to have the X-Series. If you have it, use it. You might as well. All right, so we got one on the uh, lure setup here with the X-Series walker. Uh, looks like it's just a piranha. Uh, but you guys can see you can catch fish here. Not necessarily going to be big money for these, but here's a unique. We only got 126 XP, but you get some cash. You need a really lightweight setup for these. Basically, that's all you got to do, guys, is sit here. And you will definitely get some uniques. I can show you the other spot too. It's up in the river here. That's where I caught another one. Uh, basically, you can catch them all the way up through here though. From what it looks like, you can catch the unique uh, pay R's all the way through there. I just had most luck here because you can throw on multiple rods and go ashore. And it just makes it a little bit easier. But other than that, guys, that is the XP farm that I've found so far in Peru. If I find another one, I will make a video on it. Let you guys know. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the description, the links to my social media platforms and Discord, where you can come hang out. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a video. And also comment down below, and I'll try to respond as best as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.